Atchison, teachers, parents, and graduates of the class of 2011, good afternoon. It is an honor to be speaking on this day of celebration. Mark Twain once stated, it usually takes me more than three weeks to prepare a good impromptu speech. Well, I'm afraid I have some bad news. I'm not Mark Twain, and I had only a week to come up with this speech. Worse yet, this task is made even harder when I try to make the speech interesting, so I, I kind of need your help here. As some of you know already, I'm a pretty lousy writer, but I'm a pretty okay musician and composer. So, why don't you follow my lead to make some music together? When I get this signal, please give your applause, and then stop when I get to this. So let's, let's try this once. Okay, I, I promise I won't do that. Okay. <laughs> so, let's celebrate our journey as the class of 2011. We made it as Vikings, sailing through all the tests, the change projects, the world issues project, and finally, quest. We made it with 18 national merit finalists in our class. In 2010, Irvington is chosen as one of America's top 10 amazing schools. And Irvington is among the top 6% of public high schools that are listed on Newsweek's America's Best High Schools. We also have a top-notch performing arts program that shines greater, brighter than any Broadway show. We are graduating this year from the greatest school in Fremont. Yes, the greatest school. You heard that right. is an important stepping stone in our journey of life. We all started this maze day lining up in those endless lines. We all took more tests and finished more projects and assignments than we thought we could handle. But we made it! Many of us also pushed successfully through the dreaded three-letter acronyms for us so far. These include the SAT, the ACT, and maybe even the DMV. In our class, <laughs> In our class, many of you took steps to improve the community around us and beyond. To name a few, because of you, Irvington received a hybrid school bus and the title, America's Greenest School. Because of you, we won second place in the America's Favorite School Contest. Because of you, the school in Lagos could receive thousands of pencils and other school supplies. All these years, we strive together to improve our standing, our school's API, and we produce many national merit and AP scholars. We built our science bowl teams, our math contest teams, the way to people team, football teams, and more as we constantly practice and train to improve ourselves. We should be proud of what we have accomplished. With each step, we constantly strive for a clearer vision on our quest to discover our true selves. And here we are. We have passed all these hurdles to become the class of 2011. <laughs> However, we cannot stand here today without the help of so many wonderful people in our lives. First, we should thank our parents. Their unconditional love and absolute trust and support have been the greatest gift ever granted to us. I would also like to thank all the Irvington High teachers, advisors, and staff. Without you, we could have never completed this leg of our journey. Through your instruction, we were able to develop and mature both inside and outside of academics. To touch a few, Ms. Jackson, because of your devotion, Irvington's performing arts program is among the best in the state, if not more. Mrs. Holford, Ms. Burton, because of your in-depth discussions of art, literature, psychology, history, and philosophy, we could develop a more thoughtful and insightful view toward the journey of life. Ms. Skonik, you inspired us to look out for others always and to never stop questioning. Ms. Chang, Ms. Lin, Mr. Lee, and Mr. Kumar, you always challenge your problem-solving skills to the extreme in mathematics and science and train us to persevere in spite of failures. I still clearly remember how shocked we were when we first saw the first grade sheet in the back of room 91. Yet, we still succeeded in climbing back up after we stumbled. There are still so many teachers I would like to, but could not thank here, one by one. Nevertheless, through your tireless efforts, 
We grow stronger every day. Let us give them a hand. Besides Irvington's devoted teachers and staff, what makes us lucky is special volunteers like Miss Valerie Stewart at Irvington. She and others like her are the key person behind so many of the events we enjoy. Outside her work and involvement in the city of Fremont, she chairs Irvington's PTSA even after her, gradu her daughter graduated from Irvington many years ago. Her model of enthusiasm and selfless giving will always keep us going, even in the most daunting circumstances. I want to thank you here on behalf of Irvington students. Let us give them a round of applause. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank a special member of the class of 2011, the principal of Irvington, Mr. Murchison. We will miss you so much as you leave Irvington with us. No words can express our gratitude for all you have done for us forever devoting your energy to help make Irvington the great place it is today. Although Irvington will never be the same without you, we will never forget all the efforts you put in at such a financially challenging time to make our, time, or to make our years here memorable ones. And I believe we, as Vikings, will continue your legacy. Thank you, and we wish you the best as Superintendent of the Mission Valley ROP. <laughs> I bet I must have reached the part where 90% of you will zone out if you haven't already. It's time for the inspirational message. Life can be tough, full of trials, temptations, and tribulations. We can slip back at times in our lives. I remember the moments when I failed Mr. Kumar's physics test or Ms. Halford's in-class essays. Maybe we capsized while frantically paddling in our cardboard boats to the other side of the pool. Perhaps the cake we were promised was a lie. Nevertheless, as long as we rise up from each setback, we will emerge stronger. As long as we believe in our passions, nothing can stop us from reaching our goal. Dear classmates, find what you love doing in life and stick with it. We can dream to innovate, for only in your dreams can men be truly free. T'was always does and always thus will be. In today's world, with its problems and faults, we can still make a difference. We should remain positive act as a role model, and volunteer our time and skills to help someone in need, and be the change. And finally, a tip I got about surviving college that I would like to share with you. Dating is a five-unit class. Schedule appropriately. But do not tell your significant other that he or she is a five-unit class. Trust me, the line does not go over well. Dear class of 2011, as we set off on Irvington High today, embarking on our own quest, Remember to celebrate every day, all day. Live, laugh, la love, care, and dream. After all, graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a process that goes on until the last day of your life. That is, learn something every day. Make every day meaningful and live without regrets. Thank you, Irvington, and good luck. May the force be with you and live long and prosper. And now to present the class of 2011, Mr. P. Murchison.